guys, welcome back to Time from Life, and today we're back with another video, a Hungry Bin video. Uh, today, I'll be showing you my Hungry Bin. This is a Hungry Bin Worm Farm. This is where you use for worms. Uh, it's more for uh, the garden. It helps out the garden a lot. You know, it just improves everything about it. So, I'm going to show you everything about this Hungry Bin. So, it's like one of those um, trash cans. One of those uh, tote trash cans that you use. And Hungry Bin basically is uh, an ongoing uh, worm farm, vermicomposting system. You use this just for the garden, right, regularly. Um, so first, you put your uh, compost in the uh, in the worm farm. So this is some compost right here. Mushroom compost is probably the best compost you got. Or you can, if you don't have any, like, compost bedding, you can just use shredded paper or uh, cocoa peat or anything. And there's a couple worms down here. Let's just grab a bunch right here. See those worms? Right, it's just more all around the dirt over there. Let's just grab some. See that? Just flourishing down there in the, in the corner. So, yeah. There's a bunch of worms right over there. And you want to start off with about 2,000 worms. And you want to put your bedding in. Right, and approximately, you have to put food on the top, so it's kind of like this flow-through system. You put the food on the top, and you come, you get um, the castings from the bottom, the worm poop, and the worm pee that drains out from that tray. So usually you get uh, a liter a week of worm pee, and then you get the castings. Uh, you don't want to get it right away, otherwise it's going to all fall out. You want to get it when it's about week 8 through 16. And then you just put in the garden. It's really good for the garden. It's all that organic matter. And it's good stuff. The uh, the hunger bin is such a good it's, it's such a good worm farm because it's so big. It's so big that there's like worms. The worms will go down, right? And when 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 they go down, uh when they go down, in fact that they will breed a lot because it's such a big system and that they're all separated, right? So it's kind of it's kind of hard to find some right now because they're all at the they're all at the bottom, but there's a couple couple worms on the ongoing uh when you see them and you dig about 2 to 3 inches. So, yeah, but they're all down there. They're all flourishing. But the thing about the the thing about the hungry bin is that it's it's already what you need, right? It's got holes, it's got air holes already, so this is really good. It's got the air holes right over there. But what it is, is that when you harvest the castings, there's not going to be a lot of worms on the bottom. So this is where you get the castings. This is a tray. I don't want to open it right now, it'll all fall out, but you want to open this latch. There's two latches, and once you get it, you'll have a nice tray of latch of compost. But it's going when you open it, it's, go it's going to keep everything up because it will be compacted by the time you wait but but from there's a hole right here too from the bottom right and that's where you get all your worm juice and it just drips down in this tray where you just dump in the garden which is really nice right and you can also use you know like the um it's a wheel it's wheels so you can just take this to like a shelter location when it's colder and if you're going on vacation right this hungry bin could stay alone for two to four weeks without fresh food so yes, it's a very dark place. It's so, it's so good for for the worms. They're gonna, they love this type of place. See those worms? Oh yeah, look at that. So yes, that's what they do, right? They just, they just get so many castings for you, and it's so, it's so good. So and then once they reach their peak, which is about ten thousand worms. They'll get over 10,000 worms, and the instruction manual directly says, you know, you'll start off with 2,000, and at the end of, like, week 16, you get about, you know, you get about, about 10,000 worms. So, yeah, it'll be super good, and you can use 10,000 worms for, like, look at that. Oh, yeah, they're eating up that rice right there. So, yeah, they can, you can use, you know, this for so many different things. You just have fun with it, but it's mainly for the garden, because it's just a really flow through system which is so nice for it and you know if you're getting into worm farming then you know this is one of the best bins out there you know you also the best foods for them like you know banana peels like any vegetables or fruits out there no citrus though um no meat no dairy right you want any oils 
Oh yeah, look at that. Ugh. Yeah, but no meat, no oils. There's more down here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they're they're kinda on the bottom, the medium section, the rarity, but they'll come back up for the food later on. They don't like they usually go deep down when I open the lid. Because they're affected to light. They don't like a lot a lot of light. So that's why most of them are really deep down and you can't really find any. But once there's like 10,000, you'll have so many. We'll be at their peak population. And, you know, will, will it ever stop? Will it ever stop? No, not not really. It tends to... They die. Worms do die at like year four, right? They can only live to four years. But there will be more and more coming, new coming in. So, And if this fails... Right, you always have you always have the worm bin still. You can restart. You can just restart, and it's a it's just a good ongoing system. So yeah, it's the hunger bin. And what what is it good for? I mean, after all this and juice mm -hmm. comes out, what do you do with it? You just give it to the garden, and it just produces ten times faster. Because casting has all this pH neutral uh, stuff, and that's it's just the best thing for the garden. And the worm juice is so good for the garden too. Oh. Yeah, so that's yeah. That's so what are you what, gonna do with it? So um, so when they're when they're first arriving, right? They just settle in, yeah. right? But at, you know, you have to cut. You have to wait for a couple of days. There's some juicy worms there, but you have to wait for a couple of days, and then actually for a, a lot of weeks. So you know, the worm juice is the first thing you're gonna get at about week two to week eight, and then once it hits week eight, you wanna start harvesting the castings and it takes a long time to develop castings, but you know, once you do, it's just gonna keep on gumming every week. What are you gonna week. do with it though? Give it to the garden. Your garden? Yes. Oh. We're gonna give it to the garden. It's gonna just grow ten times faster and you can add more vegetables and fruits in it. So yes. That is the hungry man. I see there's a couple foods here, just a banana peel. That's one of their favorites. So yeah, that is the hungry bin, guys. So yeah, re totally recommend the hungry bin. It's awesome, awesome hungry bin. And uh, yeah, good for gardening. It, it is good for gardening. Yes, it's really. It's probably yeah. It's probably the only the most important reason why you want this gardening. Mm. You know, it, it's just really good bin overall. Can Can you put this anywhere, or what? What's What do you have to store this thing? Um. You want to put it in a shady spot normally because they're, they normally like sunlight. You know, they can live up to 70, 70 and 40 degrees, 46 degrees is probably the best temperature for them. Somewhere around there when it reaches 70. If you want to cool down the bin, I remember just putting ice cubes on top. It will also melt and then the water, the water will go down and it's good for watering the worms because they like moisture. But when it's like cold or something, you want to put like... Um, Gosh, uh, when it's cold, it's a little hard. You can sometimes put like cover, like a cardboard, uh, cardboard piece right here, or like you want, you can put like bubble wrap, which is super good. But you can also, you know, when it's like snowy or like when it's like really like 30 to 20 degrees, uh, you like you probably have to go into a like a garage or a, a shed, probably the best spot for it. So that's all about the hunger bin that. You gotta know it's a great worm bin so that is the end of the video guys thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like the video post notifications on and i will see you guys next time peace out